All discovered fossils from China, South America, and other countries gave proof that the discovery of birds evolved from the small carnivorous dinosaurs of the late Jurassic. Did you know that there are over 10,000 different species of birds? It started when the Archaeopteryx, considered as the first living bird, was discovered in the early 1860s. It has similar features of modern birds like having feathers along its arms and tail, hand bones, shoulder girdles, pelvis, and feet were distinct. However, this had teeth and a long bony tail which modern birds don't have. It was said that the Archaeopteryx was acknowledged by several studies as an intermediate between birds and reptiles. The question is, what reptiles? Well, in the 1970s, paleontologists observed that the Archaeopteryx share unique features with theropods, a small carnivorous dinosaur. Based on their features, scientists observed that the theropods perhaps were the ancestors of birds. As birds evolved from theropod, their features also evolved. These species did not force themselves to be birds. In fact, birds evolved through a complex series of steps and served different functions along the way. Small theropods related to Comsognathus probably developed first feathers. Like in the Oviraptorosaurus, it was found with the branch downy feathers. In the Dromaeosaurids and the Archaeopteryx, it evolved a central stalk and structured branches coming off in its base. It was based on digits too. The first theropod dinosaurs had hands with small fifth and fourth digits and a long second digit. Species of birds after Archaeopteryx evolved continuously in some of the same directions as their theropod ancestors. Bones were reduced and fused, bone walls became thinner, and feathers became longer as their veins asymmetrical, which may have helped them increase the efficiency of flying. The ancestor of all living birds lived sometime in the late Cretaceous. And in the 65 million years since the extinction of the rest of the dinosaurs, this ancestral lineage diversifies into a major groups of birds alive today.